Hi everyone, I have a video to share with you. Um, I've been working on this mini album for the last few days and I just want to share with the YouTube world what I've been up to. So here's an egg shaped mini album and I took it off the hook because I'm actually, I can't find my tripod. I know I've been saying that but I've been looking for it. It's probably in some box somewhere and I'm sure when I'm not looking for it I'm going to find it. Anyhow. Um, it's an egg-shaped album, and it's not as thick. It's about only four sheets, and I got this chipboard at Michael's in the Easter section. It's not like, it was not in the area where scrap um, stuff is at. It's, it was just in its own, like, middle, like, random aisle, and um, they had Easter of everything, and, and they were in there, and they had, I think, Bunny, uh, Chick... Um, I think that's about it. In a basket. So, that was kind of great. So, anyhow, I just grabbed this one just to check it out. Um, I know sometimes some of the chipboards are very detailed. And when you want to add, like, the paper, it's just, it's kind of hard to cut out those details. So, I think the only hardest part was just the middle part. And I used an X-Acto knife with this. And, um, that worked well for me. So, because the lines are just straight. And um, I traced this part here, and cut it out, and then when I glued down the paper, I just put the I went in with the exacto knife, so it was no curving. It was just straight down, straight down. So that was kind of easy. Um, the stickers that I'm using is from Recollections, and I did some. I'm sorry, <laughs> some shading. Okay, you can tell that I haven't used this terminology in a while. Anyhow, I inked the edges with um, pumpkin pie spice from Stampin' Up. Just because I didn't want to do it pink or anything else because I, I know the paper's already very girly looking. Maybe if somebody with kids, you know, um, wanted to add pictures and they had boys in there and not just girls. So I didn't want to just do it all pink. And this is a paper from K and Company. It's a very old line. I would say about two or three years ago. And my goal for this year is to use the paper that I have. So I'm going to really miss out on a lot of paper that I've seen that's so beautiful. And don't get me wrong, once in a while I came in. But my goal is to use the paper that I have because I have so much of it. Ugh. It's so pretty and I need to use it. I use... Anyway... Yeah, so this is the front. So it's in, like a broken eggshell, and I thought that was so cute. And I added some, um, not brads, but eyelets. Okay, flip it. The colors again, very springy. And a butterfly. This is here. Now you can see that the egg is complete. And, um,. I could probably add some pictures here. And the pictures that it fits is about uh, wallet size pictures. So you could probably fit two. Here, um, this is from We Are Memory Keepers that I bought about two years ago. Again, I'm trying to use all the stuff that I have. Uh, paper from this matted paper is from, oh my gosh. That cuts with the view and it's, I would say about two years ago because I know I got that on sale. So those are small packets that I was going to make all these kind of cards with. And I still haven't done all these kind of cards. <laughs> okay, I'm rambling. Um, again, now you can start seeing the egg. Here's the, um, from Recollections. And then here is the same paper that I'm using over here. And I use a Tim Holtz staple just to um, staple them together. And then I glued it on. So, nothing so fancy. Very simple. Trying to give myself room. I want to tuck a picture in there. Just room so I could add as many pictures as I can. Because they're mini albums and you can only do so much. I think these are more just to brag. Put them, in, you know, in your living room and let people see them when they visit. Um... Or you could keep them. There's scrapbooks as well. <laughs> this again is another one. We are memory keepers. This fiber I've had for like five years, I think. And 
I just keep balling it up in the bag, taking a little bit out because I think it's so pretty and I need to start using it. And um, so I decided to add some there. I found these that I had in stash and I think they're called NML, but these are from Fiskars. So um, anyhow, they were at Big Lots. I remember getting them there. So I have a stamp here to celebrate. And then again, this is from my stash old of old things that I probably bought somewhere. That I thought it was a great deal at one point. But it's, it's just a paper clip. It has a, a flower in the back. So you could open this and it's actually, you could have two pictures here. And the paper coordinates with the album. This one is of East, um, I'm sorry, this one says Easter. Very cute. I love the recollection stickers. I think I got this for... One dollar and fifty cents because they were on sale. They were half off. Yeah, I think I got them really, really cheap. <clears throat> and then here is a tag, and I stamped some lines, and then I punched it out. And I could probably I know the lines are really tight, so I could probably just add um like the date and just a little little note or something. And this one, this egg hunt, I figured once they're, you know, searching for the eggs, and I could add the pictures here. In the back. I could add pictures if I wanted there too as well. Okay, so that's all I have for you today, and thanks for stopping by.